we had this inflatable pool in the backyard. Not a big pool, just one of these big rubber inflatable pools, but enough that you needed chlorine in it. And I was in the backyard by myself, no. ill advisedly, yeah. and I and I for whatever reason, my my brain just left my mind. And I <laughs> op- I was I was I was going through the shed, kind of <laughs> cleaning out the shed, and I opened I opened a big thing of chlorine that we had got from the people who we bought this just pool started second eating hand. it just started yeah <laughs> almost that bad <laughs> my my brain thinks i wonder if this chlorine is still good and somehow the from the part of is this chlorine still good went to like a jar of mayonnaise you would take a big sniff and go is this mayonnaise still good <laughs> oh dear. i opened this jug and i went <sighs> oh and then i went that was a bad idea, and I closed it, and I, yes, yes, I did that. I was not able to breathe. I was gasping for air, and I thought, I've done something bad. And so I, gasping for air, show up at a park where she is peddling sandwiches, and I'm like, sniffed, chlorine must go to a doctor, and she's Dave, this, we cannot, we cannot leave you alone. You know, this is one of those great pieces of advice that you hear sometimes. Like, well, if things are really, really awful, it must mean you're doing the right thing. <laughs> I don't know that that's true. <laughs> like one, one sniff of the old chlorine jug can yeah. tell you that that's not always the case. Yeah. Things are bad. Well, it must be that you're doing the right thing, and the devil just doesn't like it, Dave. No, <laughs> it's probably that I shouldn't directly gulp chlorine into my nostrils. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lesson, a hard lesson to learn. Yeah, but yeah. Maybe I just need to keep on the course and keep on sniffing. No, <laughs> that's not one of these cases. <laughs> <laughs> the only way through it is through it. <laughs> I gotta sniff this entire bottle. 